Hello, I'm Tom Shaplin, the co-founder and CEO of Thule. Today, I'm going to show you how to update the irrigation settings on the Thule web app. We're going to start on the Thule web app summary page, and we're going to click on the name of the block where we want to update the irrigation settings. We're now on the Thule sensor details page on the top of right part of the screen. There's an options and settings button. We're going to click on that and click on site settings. We're going to scroll down and we can see that this is a vineyard with six feet between plants within the row. And we scroll further down and we see the irrigation system module. And the total flow rate is about three gallons per vine per hour. It's a drip tube. The distance between emitters is 12 inches. And the flow rate per emitter is a half gallon per vine. This is a common mistake I see in the irrigation settings. The distance between plants is six feet. And the distance between emitters is 12 inches. In other words, this is saying that there's six emitters per vine. But this really isn't what's happening in this vineyard. There's actually two emitters per vine. The grower put 12 inches because they mean there's one emitter 12 inches from the trunk of the vine on either side of the vine. Um, so we're going to change that. We're going to change this to two emitters per vine. In other words, there's 36 inches between emitters and the plants are six feet apart. So two emitters per vine. The other mistake I see here, and this is a frequent mistake we see, is that the grower is reporting their irrigation system in a half, uh, the, the emitter rate as a half gallon per vine. Um, most of the emitters that you get in a production vineyard system are actually in liters. So we're going to change this to liters per hour. And a half gallon per vine is actually two liters per hour. So when people say that they have half gallon per vine emitters, they actually mean they have two liters per hour emitters. Um, so we're going to change that and we're going to click Save Settings. And we can see the little banner that says the settings have been updated. We're going to click on Site Settings again to make sure that our changes have persisted. And now we see the total flow rate is about one gallon per vine per hour instead of about three. Um, and we can see our other changes have been persisted too. That's it. You now know how to change the irrigation settings for your Thule sensor. Thank you.